school bus driver facing charges this evening after a crash on Long Island. Investigators say he refused to let first responders check on the children on board. But that's when police had to step in. Long Island reporter Shante lands live at that scene in North Belport. Shante, I believe the good news here is that none of the children were seriously hurt. Sandra, yes, that is the good news. It's also not exactly clear why that bus driver was stopping EMS from getting to those children, but tonight his employer, We Transport, that bus company he was driving for, is saying that they're fully cooperating with investigators. A routine bus ride turns frightening for five students ages 10 to 14 at Victory Christian Academy after their school bus collided with a vehicle in Bellport at Station Road and Head of the Neck Road. So this morning we had a bus collision with a civilian vehicle that involved multiple patients. With heavy front end damage, Suffolk County police say everyone, including an aide, are okay. But emergency responders say it was the bus driver, 64-year-old Stephen Edwards, who got himself into deep trouble. When we saw the hostile situation, we tried to verbally de-escalate it so that we could get in and take care of the children, as well as the bus driver and the assistant. Uh, but when we saw that it was about to get physical, we summoned the police, uh, and the police got on board, and unfortunately, the individual got physical with the police and verbally accosted them. South Country Ambulance's chief says he was removed from the bus and treated for a hurt shoulder before getting arrested and charged with five counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Uh, there's a problem nowadays. EMS, fire, and police are attacked all too often uh, when responding to calls. It's clearly unacceptable and will not tolerate it. I tried to get the bus driver's side, but he wasn't home. It's not clear what the emotional state of that bus driver was at the time of the crash. He was issued a desk appearance ticket. Live in North Bellport, Shante Lands, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.